guys, to New Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community, and this is episode 32 of the Minecraft Files. And today we're going to be covering uh, wool and dye, um, and we're going to make a carpet, pretty cool little carpet in um, our home here. So first thing I'm going to do is go to sleep, and I feel like I'm starting to go to sleep every episode now since the update came out. So like this video if you like see me lay down and sleep the night away. Because, let's be honest, sleeping in the new beds is kind of fun. I don't know about you guys, but I like doing it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over real quick how to craft every um, every die in the game. Now, you need some resources. You need lapis uh, lazuli for the blue. You need bone meal to dye things a lighter color. You're going to need some cactus, uh, both colored flowers a flower and a rose. You're going to need ink sacks and I think that is it. Um, those are the raw materials that you need in order to make every color die in the game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the green cactus and we're going to put green in the furnace. Now when you put green in the furnace, uh, the cactus in the furnace, it comes out with green dye and it's called uh, cactus green I believe. So here we go, cactus green. And we'll let that cook. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're not gonna make a pattern rug today. Uh I'm gonna cut out the floor just right here. And actually no, let's do it right in front of the couch that I said I was gonna get rid of, but decided not to. Shows how decisive I am. Alright, so let's, let's do this. Now, in the beta update, when it updated from alpha, updated from alpha to beta, that was when Notch added the. Um, was when he added the wools and dyes of the game. Um, there, he added beyond white. There was, I think, 14 colors that he added. So we're gonna go through those real quick. Now, the first one is blue and lapis lazuli is an ore in the game and you mine that ore uh, it can be found I believe around the same layer as gold <clears throat> so you've got to go mining for that and to make blue wool you just place a white block of wool anywhere in the crafting area you can even do this in your own inventory not the you don't even, you don't even need a workbench basically that makes blue wool so let's go place the blue wool down the ground and see what this looks like. Perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use bone meal and make light blue. So you take bone meal and you mix it with lapis and that makes a light blue dye. And you take the light blue dye, mix it with the wool, and you get light blue wool. So let's come down here again and just, we're gonna just start throwing blocks down. Now the next the next dye that you can make with the blue is a cyan. And cyan is a mix between a, a blue and a green. And what you're going to do is mix blue and green. So you're going to take the cactus green that we just cooked up in the furnace, mix it with a lapis, and you're going to get cyan. We're going to take the cyan. We're going to dye a block of wool there. Now there's some combinations you can't do. So cyan plus bone meal doesn't equal anything. So just you've got to remember the things the combinations um, and actually there's a, a a guide on the internet out now uh, it was created by wolf21 and if you click on the link in my description you will get all of this information plus a whole ton more of stuff it's basically the wiki the minecraft wiki on steroids and it's for a low price um, very very reasonable price in my mind and uh, it's it's top notch stuff, guys. It's really really good. Every every good Minecrafter should should really own this um, this guide. So check that out in the uh, in the the link in the description. So now the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna do green dye, green wool. I'm sorry, and we're gonna do light green or lime green, which is cactus green mixed with bone meal. All right, let's go lay these down as well. Yeah, like I said, that the guide has all of these crafting recipes, everything you need to know. 
Um, it's a really, really, really wonderful resource, and I want to thank Wolf21 for putting that together. All right, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start using um, red. If you put rose in your crafting box, you're going to get rose red. And red can be mixed with white to make red block. You can also mix um, red with bone meal, and that's going to make pink. So let's go put these down again. Basically, we're just making a multicolored random carpet here. But I think it'll look pretty cool under the TV. Or, not TV, I haven't made the TV yet. Underneath the couch is what I mean. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix, we're going to make yellow. And this is dandelion yellow. And when you, you can use yellow to make a yellow block. And you can also mix red with yellow to make orange. I really like the orange blocks for some reason. I'm in another room. Let's see here. Let's do this real quick. Alright. So, we can make an orange block. And let's throw this down as well. And the yellow block. And there will be more colors here than we'll be able to fit in on the carpet square. So, the, oh, I forgot purple. We need to do purple. Purple is blue plus red. So take one lapis and one rose red, and you've got purple. Purple wool. And if you mix purple and pink, you get magenta. Magenta is a really cool color as well. So these are those two colors. So there's purple. And we could probably cut out even more of this floor here. It's not going to look symmetrical. I'll fix it later. I just want to show you guys what these colors look like. So now we need the, the blacks, the dark colors. Um, so I, I found gray wool, which I found uh, from a sheep. The, there are new sheep in the game uh, with the beta update. And there are black, wool, uh, black sheep. There are, oh, look at this, gray sheep like this. And then there are also light gray sheep. And the light gray and the gray sheep um, drop um, the color gray and light gray, but you can also, the nice thing about this is you can also actually craft those colors too if you can't find any, any of those sheep. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. And the new mob that was released in that update as well was squid and squid drop ink sacks. Now ink sacks are basically black dye and if I put together these two things you get black. Now if you mix an ink sack with bone meal you're going to get gray dye. This is just normal gray. And if you mix if you mix them again, if you mix your normal gray dye one more time with bone meal, you're going to get light gray dye. And that's how we're going to make uh, that's how we're going to make some light gray wool. And I believe that should be all of the colors. So let's cut out the floor here. So this is the light gray. Put the black down next. And then the normal gray, or dark gray as people call it, here. So let's count and make sure we got everything. So beyond the white, which is already, you know, your already your standard wool, which you had obviously before the update, which was quite a while ago, um, you had this white color. So Beyond white, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors. This is the entire spectrum for right now of, uh, of wool. Now, it's speculated that there will be a brown, brown dye coming out at some point. Uh, I believe the item ID is in the system. You can spawn it uh, if you have access to a server and the ability to spawn items. But as of right now, there's no natural item in the game that will give you brown dye. So make sure you stay tuned for that and all of the updates right here on uh, on my channel. And also, guys, check out my new website. Um, I'm linking a bunch of stuff into my website now. I've got, I've got a new Facebook account that you guys can join up with. Uh, I've got Twitter. So check the website. It's www.chimneyswift11.com. We're going to be doing some fun stuff on there. A lot of you guys have also requested me, you want me to upload this this uh, single-player world. 
I would love to do that for you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with all my buildings intact. I might be able to do it, but I would really love to give you guys the seed code so you can spawn your own um, your own world that's just like mine, the exact same one, um, the raw world and everything. Uh, so stay tuned on the website for that. I don't think I'll be releasing that on my YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check the website for that if you want it. Uh, favorite it as a homepage, and make sure you leave comments and uh, keep subscribing to these videos, guys. Like this video um, and tell your friends. And also make sure you go check out the link in the description about the the Minecraft guide, uh, the Minecraft survival guide created by Wolf21. All right, guys. Well, this is it for episode 32. Wow, 32 episodes. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Uh, we'll keep doing these. So we'll, but thanks for watching episode 32 of the Minecraft Files. And I will talk to you guys later. See you in episode 33. Bye.